Welcome back, everyone, for another round of Subnautica Below Zero modded. Now, we're checking a lot of mods in this series, and today is no exception. Last time we looked at a few. Today, I have a bunch more, so let's dive on in and see what they're about. So probably the first mod you're going to notice right off the bat is I have added the more quick slots mod. This means my toolbar at the bottom is no longer five slots, but now 10. And that works great for me because I have a MMO type mouse and it has 12 buttons along the thumb side, which means it's very easy to switch between different ones. Now, it was warned that there's an issue with some of the mods compatibility wise together. So we're going to see if we run into that today. But I have also added, because this does not just apply to the, you know, C-Truck automatically, I have the more slots mod for the C-Truck as well. I can't remember the exact name for it at the moment. But basically, it's going to let us put more upgrades on the C-Truck. Now, one mod I mentioned last time, and I said I would try if everybody wanted me to, is the uh, more items, more salvage items mod. I'll link in the description below. But basically, it's going to give you stuff from the blueprint scan. So right there, I got some stuff of what is used to make the laser cutter. So we're going to get two diamond, as this randomizes each time. So they're diamond and titanium. So it's a good way, if you want to do that, to, you know, have a, a you can say, more sensible aspect of it, not just being to titanium every time open up come on there we go sulfur not that i really need it but you know might as well grab some all i can all right i've got sulfur from grabbing from the uh, crash fish nest the sulfur plant i've got a sea truck there we go uh, i got sulfur from the scans the additional laser cutter scans and then i Got a bunch of diamond too. I got, yeah, so I'm doing all right. Let's see. How am I doing? Yeah, bunch of sulfur, bunch of diamond. I got two crash fish eggs. I guess I could raise some babies. Again, I am using, of course, easy craft, which means it'll pull from any of my storage in range. So I'm making my laser cutter. Goes right there. And I need silicone rubber. We'll go ahead and move that to six. Repair tool in slot number four, and I got some food and some water. There we go. That helps. And uh, I have actually enough room. How about that? Oh, in that too. Okay. So I've got my laser cutter, got my repair tool, I got ingredients for scanning, and I've got a fresh battery to load in here. There we go. That's better. It's daytime. Not to charge things up. I want to go ahead and get something out of the way. I didn't do this last time. I kind of avoided too much of the story last time, I guess, or, you know, just I focused more on getting started. Let's go see Sir Allen and uh, kind of kick this story into gear. First, though, I want to get this data box because rebreather tired of the little oxygen efficiency warnings. And now very quickly. Just gonna follow the blinking lights and we'll, we'll get our new buddy. All right, this? here we go. Inside. Oh, yeah, I've already scanned the ion cube. All right, here we go. Finally! Got dust off the old PDA. There we go. Yeah. That brace for transfer. Uh, probably should have held it up a little higher, you know, in front of my face. That way I wouldn't have this issue. Yeah, ow. All right. Transfer complete. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, oh, what a hangover. Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified yep. hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. I, I think that oh, says I have a lot of emptiness in my head. I'm going to take that the wrong way, honestly. Yeah, I'm saying I've got, I, I've got a lot of unused capacity in my head. Oh no, I broke it. I broke it in the toy. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, so let's just get out of here before somebody notices. Ooh, sea glide fragment. Let's see what I get. I got some lubricant from it. Titanium and lubricant. Okay, we got our first phone call. And uh, not real. Ooh. Go away. 
to go, yep. we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep yeah. saying we? Let's try this. How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. Two copper. We do not think of ourselves. Oh, yeah, two copper from that. Sometimes you might get a really good item. Sometimes you might get kind of cheated. So the next mod ties into why I need Alan in my head. I need the sea monkeys to become not mischievous anymore. I need them to become friends. And you did not do very well on that. So the idea is that you can, you know, pin a recipe and they'll bring you stuff. Now, in certain cases, it works just perfectly fine. Like I could pin the battery. I'll start getting some, you know, ribbon plants, copper, stuff like that. But I have added the uh, extravagant materials, I think is what it's called. Anyway, I've added a mod that basically expands on the items they can bring. Now, they can bring some interesting things at times. I've seen them bring glass, and that's really the only crafted material I've been able to see them bring. But I've never seen them bring, like, ion cubes and such. And this mod is supposed to actually open it up so you can even get ion cubes from the sea monkeys. So, you know, in the end, if I just really want to make a lot of ion batteries, I've got my boys to help me out. All right, what you got? What you got? Ribbon plant. Okay, so I got a piece of ribbon plant because I need that for my recipe. While I wait, sea glide fragment. If I can. There we go. Lubricant and copper wire this time. So that's interesting. I've gotten copper, but I also can get copper wire. So I guess it comes back to maybe you could get like it kind of broken down. There's my second ribbon plant that has been covered. They're probably not going to bring any more. So I got a, I got the stuff for a battery out of them. Now, as of right now, I don't have ion batteries, ion power cells unlocked. So I can't exactly pin that recipe yet. I don't have the recyclotron yet, so I can't pin the recipe for that. So we'll have to revisit this after I get uh, some of those recipes done. Now, the next thing that I have added to go with the sea truck, because I, I honestly miss this aspect of the sea moth, is we have sea truck storage. Now, you might be saying, why do that? You already have a storage compartment. You already have that, Mr. Spicy. But you know what? I, I can have more. I, I can have some attached to the cabin itself, which means I don't have to have an extra compartment behind it to have some storage. Of course, now I'm not getting titanium from the extra blueprint scan, so I'm actually running low on titanium as a result of that. We'll go ahead and toss in nicely labeled sea truck, so you don't get it confused with prawn suit or sea moth. And so there we go. We get compartments added here on the outside. So you got a storage compartment, and it is a big storage compartment. So because I ran out of titanium, I can't make the Sea Truck Depth Module 1. So I'm going to see if I can get, you know, enameled glass and plastic ingots brought as part of the expanded options for the sea monkeys. Oh, you got something. You got some lithium. So he didn't bring me a plastic ingot. He brought the lithium I need for the plastic ingot. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, no, got me and Mr. Monkey. Uh, I, I saw the monkey coming after me. He, he suffered for the cause. So the sea monkeys right now are just doing the same thing as before. They're not really bringing me anything special uh, outside the normal stuff. Let's take a look in options because I know you could do... All right, maximum ingredients. Wow, you could make it to... Uh, Increase the number of items. <laughs> we go way up on that. Look, 10 items from scanning. Maximum. Minimum. 10 items. Oh, I just want 10 items from each one. That's that's way too easy right there. And yeah, okay. No options in the mod menu for that mod. I, appreciate, I think there's a config file if you want to expand on the options for what you uh, can get as a result. Now, let's just put it down here. Because I don't need to be able to trigger that. It's fine to put it at the end. Let's head to Delta Station. Get some scans. More importantly, I want to get some uh, shrub nuts. This is a oh, there we go. We got a message. You can hear this, I hear you. Listen. If you know what's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. 
If I knew what was good for me, I probably wouldn't be here to start with. I'm just saying. Shrub nuts. We're going to plant this back at the base. And munch right now so I get my uh, food level up. Mineral detector fragment gives me four ingredients. Okay, did I accidentally put that a little higher? Uh, Matt, yeah, it did go back. It went back to 10. I, I don't think I meant to do that. Okay, so I got uh, up to 10. I gained four out of that. So, you know, a nice little boost. Yeah, so can't scan, modification station. Uh, so it's not going to let me just pick random pieces to scan, even though I've, I've you know, I've already unlocked it. And I wanted to eat another shrub nut because I am running out of room to take all this stuff. Uh, I think that's everything. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's not. Gotta get the poster. Gotta get the poster. One more PDA. And I'm done here. And since I'm so close to it, I figure why not go ahead. Let's come over here and hit up the beach over here for that little cave where the thermal lily is. Grab the architect artifact scan. Uh, also, penguin scan. That's right, just come here. All right, there we go. Architect artifact. Yeah. Oh, glad. Oh, yep. There we go again. Uh, yeah, I, I've got room. Grab ion cubes. All right, monkeys. Give you another chance here. I only got a little bit of room. I'm going to pick something good. Oh, you know what? Perfect quantum locker because it's got ion cubes as an ingredient. Oh, oh, what we got? We got, we got gold. Okay. Oh, what you got? Metal salvage. He brought me an entire chunk of metal salvage. All right, fine. I'll eat it. You know what? Actually, where that, there it is. Let's go make use of my storage. That's funny. Uh, he's like, you need titanium. I got you titanium. Another one gave me metal salvage. So that's two with metal salvage to cover the two titanium I need. I, I, I mean, I like that. They're being very proactive. Yes, ion cube. Got it. Sorry. I didn't grab it quick enough. I got an ion cube from a sea monkey. All right. So I ended up getting an ion cube from the sea monkeys with the mod. Also found out they'll bring metal salvage. And making good use of my new storage. Uh, you know, with all that, I think I need to go ahead and make another storage thing. And it says I don't have enough, but you know what? Easy Craft will take care of that. So I have my rebreather and I have the depth uh, upgrade Mark 1 for the sea truck. And with the parts from scanning mod, driving down here to look for the different module scans isn't just grabbing the module scans and being done with it. Any of the extra ones I scan will give me parts. So it's actually more beneficial now to come down here and get every scan that I can in order to get as many of the parts as I can to hurry up and make the new cabins. First, I have to scan and actually unlock the blueprints like normal. Oh, 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 okay. Got the little tendril thing, but this should finish off. Storage module. All right. Not that I am, like, really hurting for it now. I got better storage, honestly, on my thing. Uh, oh, you know, I need to get some O2 real quick. There we go. Now, go back because I've got the uh, architect artifact. But now, let's get this. Let's see what I get. Ooh, I got metal salvage off of that. So not even just, here's titanium, I got metal salvage. All right, another storage module. Uh, that's all metal salvage in there again. So that's very interesting that it's just like defaulting to metal salvage now. But yet, you know, under normal circumstances, not really that worth it to do that. I'll just be getting a few pieces of titanium, you know, two for each scan. But with the parts from salvage, making it more logical that you're getting actually components that would make the item, it's actually worth doing the extra scans. One more. All right. 
Again, metal salvage. And we're going to grab the ion cube. Scan this artifact. And that should give me... That should be four now, right? I think... Okay, maybe that was just three. Because I didn't see a notification for the Recyclotron. So that... Yeah, that's just number three then. And the number three scan for Fabricator. There we go. Now that's unlocked. Find like 18 of the storage module fragments and now I only find the just the minimum three of the fabricator. Now you can't get me. Go away. Finally! Right next to him. Uh, Alright, so I got a computer chip from that. So, you know, a little bit extra help. Alright, not a bad haul. I mean, four pieces of metal salvage from that trip along with a wiring kit, I mean, you know, diamond, a computer chip, their ion cube. Yeah, you know, I got a good bit of stuff, and I am out of room again. And I am just going to go ahead and do the storage module because I still haven't seen anything specific to the fabricator module that makes me want to jump and make it because I haven't seen a mod for it. But I'm going to do the storage module because, hey, you know, I can always use more storage. And since I can put signs on the standing lockers... I'm going to do that for uh, now so I can have my signs on there. And that way I'll just, I'll start, instead of doing the alternating pattern I was doing because of issues with signs during early access, I'm just going to go ahead and just, we'll have all standing lockers for now going all the way across. Just make it a little easier. So with all the extra scans I got in the storage module, a lot of them gave me the metal salvage which is a nice aspect, but there is no metal salvage as part of the ingredient. So it's breaking down the plastil ingot into, hey, this is like five titanium, I guess trying to get as close as possible to that value, which is why I was getting so many pieces of metal salvage. Whereas, you know, I would get like the gold, silver stuff, I well, wiring kit kind of stuff, you know, and lead on the other things. But, you know, because of the value of the titanium it seems like it was going as close as possible which is why i was getting the metal salvage okay mr sea monkey i have a few options for you let's see what you and what your friend over there can bring me all right what oh we got some ruby okay ruby's not in the area so that's not really unusual they do that already but i did get some ruby Spiral plant clipping. Okay. And I got a new blueprint for that. So I haven't gathered that yet. And that is for, let's see, the synthetic fibers, right? Yeah. So I got the ruby and a spiral plant clipping so I can make synthetic fiber. So they're bringing the core components, but not the crafted components still. So I'm going to make good use of this spiral plant clipping. Instead of having to wait for another one, I'm going to plant it so it grows and gives me more. I don't have to go find anything. And I think that's pretty much a good look at these new mods that I wanted to showcase today. So once again, the mods I focused on today, of course, the uh, the more quick slots mod, which gives me more hot key you know, options at the bottom during normal play, the slot extender, Zero, which adds more slots to the sea truck in addition to the sea truck storage mod, which allows me to add storage modules like we used to with the sea moth to the sea truck itself. Then we had the more or the parts from scanning, which lets you get ingredients from the additional scans you get once you have unlocked the blueprint and the strive to get gifts mod so that I get more options of what I can get brought by sea monkeys. So just adding a little bit more flavor to the game with these, a little bit more utility with these, and still pretty much focusing on that at the moment. But we did start in with the sea truck mods, and that's what we're going to be diving deep into next time. All sea truck mods, see what all we can do with it next time. But that's it for this video, so if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe, and be sure to keep it spicy this week. I'll see you in the next one.